What's up guys, hope everybody's doing well. Today we're gonna to be doing a workout for the stomach. We're gonna be developing kickboxing abs, but instead of just focusing on the physique, how you look, we're also gonna be pounding away on our stomach in between sets to develop the ability to take a punch and not go down. That's something that's been a priority in my whole career, being able to take a body shot and not go down, but because the gyms are closed right now for many people, we're not able to get in and have partners hit us. So today's drill is about getting those six packs on point while also conditioning to take a punch. All right guys, today is another follow along workout. I know a lot of people appreciate me going through the workout with you instead of just giving you the routine and just saying, okay, go do your thing. So just follow along with me. We are going to be making sure that we do our sit-ups as normal. So we're developing the abs, yes, but then also pounding away and getting that conditioning, getting used to getting hit, getting used to being able to tighten our stomach and breathe at the same time. And make sure you breathe during this exercise. Look at my stomach right now, if I put my fingers in, they sink into my stomach. Now I'm gonna tighten, and now my stomach is super tight. I can bang away and still talk to you. That's the skill I want to develop. So if during this workout, when you start hitting your stomach, you go You're gonna run out of air and you're not gonna be able to make it through the entire drill. You wanna to learn to breathe and tighten. So now that you guys know that, let's flip around, let's get started. The first minute of this drill is going to be lifting our legs. We want a slight bend, I want your hands on the ground and I just want you flutter kicking from that L set. We're gonna do that for 15 seconds. We're then gonna take our hands, we're gonna stabilize our legs up and we're just gonna pound away, alternating arms. Make sure you don't hit one spot over and over. Hit the sides, hit the front up and down, just get everywhere, pound away. And keep in mind, it should be hard. I have the microphone right here so you guys can hear the impact that I'm making. I'm not just going pop, 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 pop. I'm actually smacking hard. So guys, set yourself up. We are starting in five seconds. Here we go. Four, three, two, one, and flutter kicks for 15 seconds. Just squeeze, work on breathing, activate the abs as much as you can. Like you're 100% maxing out your squeeze. And just keep working there. Get those fists ready and hold the legs steady and start pounding. Getting everywhere on your stomach. Up, down, sideways. A couple more. And back to flutters, hands back on the ground. Still squeezing the stomach as tight as possible. Three more seconds. And pause the legs and start working. Five seconds. And time. And a little point for you guys, as you're hitting your stomach, you can use the hammer fist area, but you can also slide down and use your forearm as well. I'd like to see you use both of them. Now from here, we're gonna do a sit up. I want you to go hands at your, at your temples, full sit up, down, as soon as you come down, one big smack to the stomach, up and down, one big smack. Start up nice and high and get lots of momentum so that when you hit, you have to maximize your stomach being as tight as you can. All right, this is just 30 seconds. And three, two, one, and go. Come up. Halfway there. One more and breathe. All right guys, very similar to before, except this time, instead of having our hands on the ground, we're gonna lean back, we're gonna drop our elbows and we're just gonna do a little pulse up and down for 30 seconds and then we sit up and we're gonna do double arm smashes against our stomach. Again, as I mentioned, you don't have to just use here. You can use the entire form and just drive right in as hard as you can. 15 seconds of lean back flutters. It's 15 seconds of lean back, double legs up down, and then 15 seconds of driving in. And we're gonna go through two times for each. All right, ready in three seconds, two, one, and go. 
Just up, down, keep the stomach tight. And sit it up, two arms, go. Five seconds. And lean back, start again, up, down. I do a little bend in my knees. I just find it takes away the strain on the hip flexors that I can focus on my stomach more. Five more seconds. And up, and again. And time. We're gonna go through one more time. You guys will note the breathing that I'm doing, constantly exhaling upon impact. I find that's really important, being able to see a body shot come just but then get that air back right away. We're gonna go through one more time, make sure we get the full two rounds in. Let's set up for a start. We're gonna go in about 10 seconds here. And on the second set, if you feel like your stomach was up for it, try to put a little bit more impact in this time. A little bit more of a bang. All right, starting with flutter kicks in three, two, one, and go. And this time we don't have our elbows to the ground, elbows are up. We're just repeating again a second time, but we're gonna bang harder on the stomach when we smack down. All right, and three seconds for the transition and go. Fast pace, alternating arms. Remember to breathe. And back to flutters. Stomach still max tight. Squeezing everything you have. And one more time, pounding away in the stomach, go. And breathe. We'll take a couple seconds here and then we'll go back to our sit up. Every time we come up, we take a quick breath out. We and then as we lean back, we breathe in and then we get ready to bang our stomach again. So it's getting that and then inhale and inhale. Make sure your breathing's down pat. All right, ready? We're gonna go in three seconds here. And three, two, one, and full sit-ups, go. 30 seconds. Two more. And up and breathe. Last set here, when I'm hitting myself on those ones, I'm just on the edge of knocking the wind out of myself. Like not severely, but a little bit. So on this last one, with the double banks, make sure it's just on the edge. We are going, man, if I had 10% more, it might actually win me. All right, elbows are back down on the ground. Five seconds, we start. We're going up downs with both legs. Ready, ready? And go. One minute left, guys. Keep working that stomach hard. Little bend through the knees. Max out the stomach squeeze. And up, double arms. And lean it back. Almost there. Keep working. Five seconds. And then one more time, pounding on the stomach. And up and go. And time. All right, guys, normally, as I already said, that's a drill I would do in the gym. I would have my partners banging on my stomach in between rounds. That's how I get my conditioning. That's how I learn to take those body shots. Because just doing ab workouts, yes, 
It'll make your stomach muscles stronger, but it doesn't condition you for tightening as much as you can and learning to breathe. This drill does. So until you can get back to the gym and you can have somebody ripping away in your stomach, I'd suggest doing this workout two times per week. Short drill overall, it can just be at the end of your workout. If you guys want a couple other workouts, I'll throw some links up there. You can follow along with those ones, sort of get a whole workout in. But this one in general is just to make sure that you're able to take those body shots. That's what this one is really for. I have other ab workouts that are much harder on the abs. This one is just specialized for that body impact. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, give it a like. If you haven't already, get subscribed. As always, guys, train hard. I'll see you back here soon for another video.